In today's video, I will be attempting to crochet a bamboo bee amagurumi as a birthday present for my daughter. Hi, my name is Akusia Adoma and I upload crochet related content as well as vlogs every single week. So if you don't want to miss out on this excitement, kindly subscribe, turn on your post notification, share and give this video a thumbs up. So this video is quite special to me because I have never ever attempted making an amagurumi. I've been crocheting for over five years now and I mainly focus on making outfits. So my specialization is not on amagurumi at all however after some few months of being consistent on YouTube I've realized that it is something worth trying and my daughter gave me a reason for this trial because she's really into toys so I decided to document my process and then crochet an amagurumi bamboo bee which is one of the most common I've seen so far and I think it will be very easy for me since I've never tried any amagurumi project and I I would um, give it to her as a present on her birthday. Prior to this, I began my preparation and I started getting ready to purchase my yarn. So I just went on Instagram first of all to search for yarn and I messaged quite a number of Instagram stores I know of and the very first store to reply to my message was Bedazzled Loop after I also posted on my story that I needed some velvet yarns because I specifically wanted to make this project with velvet yarn and mind you I've never ever tried making anything using the velvet yarn so it's my first time as well I was pretty excited to get this yarn from Bedazzled Loop all the way from Kumase she sent me my package within a day and I was very happy to get my four balls of velvet yarn. I got the pink, the blue, the red and then the green type. So I had four balls and I plan to use at least two of this for the bamboo bee project. So guys I just got a message from Bedazzled Loop and uh, she says that thanks for your purchase. Also I got some darning needles from Bedazzled Loop. I'm so excited to to work on a velvet yarn for the very first time. I'm going to use um, the coral color and then the green for this particular project because I made a coral dress for my daughter and I thought it would match. It's about to rain literally and I'm just I'm just sad okay I'm just sad. It's exactly 10 35 a.m. in the morning. I just want to keep track of the duration I use to make this project. So yeah let's get right into it. So guys, I finally made the very first section and I'm just loving the outcome guys. So this is how it looks like so far and yes, I forgot to tell you the hook I was using for this project. I'm using a 4.5 millimeter hook. The tutorial recommended 4.0 but the yarn recommended 4.5 and it's now time to fix the eyes. Unfortunately, I contacted a lot of Instagram stores um, that sell yarn here in Ghana and I couldn't get the 
safety eyes i couldn't wait to order from aliexpress which would take a month or two to arrive and i needed this done as soon as possible i decided to sew in the eyes i don't know whether it's a bad idea but i'm just going to try so i'm just using the same velvet yarn and according to the tutorial you are supposed to count a little bit across the middle so that's what i'm going to do This looks a little bit weird, guys. <laughs> oh, gosh. So guys, this is how the first eye is looking like. I have no idea of what is going on, guys. But I don't know. I'm just hoping it would come out better as far as I add the second one in the mouth. And the mouth is also going to be a problem because it, it doesn't have a specific technique. Um, anyway, I'm just going to sew the middle of the project right now because you can't just pull. I don't know. I realize you can't pull this loop or you end up tearing the whole yarn apart um, because there's a thin thread in the fur covered around the yarn so i have i just have to sew it in in order to close the circle and to secure it wish me luck guys like wish me luck So guys, after over an hour of figuring how to get the eyes intact, this is what I managed to do. <laughs> I tried to fix the mouth, but I realized that I have to take more time and it's going to take a long time. So I just gave up basically and decided to continue with the rest of the pattern but the eyes doesn't look bad does it does it oh guys one thing i was inspired by crochet with k on youtube to hop on on this trend i loved her version of her vlog so i'll be linking it in the description box for you guys to check it out i'm going to continue with my b bumble b and then we are just going to see the outcome. The next section is going to include tribed version of this color and it's going to be a perfect match. I think this is the, the stage I've gotten to so I'm just going to watch. I've forgotten some parts. I'm just going to watch and crochet along till my hands fall off, guys. <laughs> Just like you did with the yellow. So it's up, it's time I pick my green color. So let me time lapse, guys. hi guys i'm so excited to show you my project so far i'm almost done i have my three stripes of green color and i just realized guys this looks exactly like the combination of the famous pinterest dress so it kind of gives it this cool vibe like i just love it so i took some bricks in between to attend to important projects but i got myself some snack do you guys sometimes use your bare teeth to <laughs> rip off the opener? 
this is my first time tasting this it's not that bad i'm at the section where the invisible decreasing starts so i'm just going to keep that progress and then count my stitches so yes i'm just loving the outcome so far um after some rows of decrease i'm supposed to stuff it up So guys, um, I think I've decreased to the extent that I have to stuff in with some few cotton fill. I'm just going to stuff my bamboo bee. I'm just going to make sure I stuff it nicely. I think this is the most interesting part I've been waiting for. Stop that. so guys it's exactly 2 24 p.m and i'm finally done with my cute bumblebee like i'm so excited my daughter is going to love this this project was fun it was really fun working with velvet yarn i love the texture and i love how i combine the colors as well attaching the wings was very time consuming for me i don't know why but attaching things generally is a problem for me i don't know if you guys share similar thoughts with me and i managed to fix the mouth right here i couldn't fix the blush you see the original pattern has a blush i couldn't fix it so i think like it's much cuter this way i'm just going to wrap this up and take some intro videos and some short videos for instagram as well thank you so much for watching this video i'll be leaving extra information in the description i'll see you in another video bye